Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel, the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Teo in the chair. How are you, mate? Yeah, very good. You good? Yeah. What are we do? What's the plan? About seven months ago, I shaved my head off, my, my hair off. Yeah. Um, then got my girlfriend to bleach it all. Nice. So I've got these uh, little tips. <laughs> um, so I'm looking to yeah get it down to where basically just underneath them. I still want some length. I like the curl. Yeah, yeah. To have it really scruffy. Okay. Um, and then back in size to a fade, but not really like extreme, not a skin. Okay. Really like quite low as well. I don't like not too high. Fade. Okay. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, but other than that, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's good. I think you've picked the right the right length. I'll uh, oh, show you the right height on the back and sides because. Anything with curly hair like this length and quite scruffy around the shape's really nice. So essentially what you do is we can pick obviously whatever length you want to go down to, it's not a problem at all. But then what you do is you can leave some of the curl through the blend mm -hmm. and that just way it just balances everything out. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to go, do you want to go take, like take the colour out? Is that is that the plan? Is that how yeah, short you want to go? I think so. I think it's fine. Okay. It's good length to really work out what we're doing then. So in terms of the back and sides, like how short do you want to go? What are you thinking lengthwise? I usually, when I used to get my hair cut more often, I'd get a two. Yeah. Um, so I think that's just what I've always that a good length, to, yeah. Which, if, if that works. 100%, mate. 100% works, yeah, definitely. We're just going to keep it quite low. So again, we're going to blend it out to this shape. Yeah. But obviously, as it curls and it sits in, it does this. So yeah. it'll create more of a round shape. So we'll bring everything out and we'll just kind of make it, make the curls look a bit better, a bit, a bit easier, a bit more messy. Funny you know what I mean? Enough, I only started going curly at like 18. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like 23 now. So yeah. Really? Yeah. Really late on thing. All right, let's get on you up and get you started, all right? Right guys, so I'm gonna start by doing a horseshoe section. I'm gonna work through palm to palm around the back and sides to start with, because I wanna to start to blend this in. So I, I, want, I want the two to be like a taper to the circle today. I don't want it to be like a two back and sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by sectioning off the top. Now, again, we're looking at a slightly more rounded shape today, okay? Because I always think that works really well with curls. Unless we're obviously going for like a, from one to high fade or a high tooth, one, whatever on the back and sides, and obviously you can go for the squarer shape as well. But I think for what Teo wants, I think a rounder shape is better. Because that way, when he gets up, he just scrunches it and it's all messy all over. But we've got that kind of tapering of the number two. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the back and sides and I'm gonna start palm to palm. I'm gonna cut a shape in that is on this angle, okay? Because as it dries, it'll sit a bit more like that, and obviously the two will create that slightly more rounder finish. Starting from the side, what I'm gonna do, tilt, turn his head over. And when I tilt it over, if I keep my fingers straight, as you can see, look what it does, it creates that cutting angle. And then we can taper it in, so that way we can create that nice taper into the sides and create more rounder finish. Pull it straight out, like so. There you go, and cut. And as you can see, that will naturally just get shorter as you get closer. So the side bend into those ears. That'll leave that length and that will keep, see that's still the curl in it there. So we put a two down the bottom and blend that out. We're still gonna keep the curl, so we're not gonna touch this bit. Oh, nice and straight, there we go. So you can see that shape. We're cutting in on the length at the top. And it's getting shorter to the bottom. So if it starts to feel like it's getting a bit awkward or uncomfortable, just tilt the client's head forward or sideways or back or whatever. Keeping a lot of that curl. So, what we do when we bring that two around the very bottom, we're going to keep a lot of this length that we can connect into the top. That should take off the length that we need to as well to get rid of that blonde. As you can see, I'm just following the guide. There we go. Straight my fingers up, follow the guide. Bring it in from the previous section, there's the guide. Thing is nice and straight. Pull that one back, like that. 
So I'm gonna work on the perimeter now, just around this bit here. So cut in the temple, just a touch, okay? just pull it over. I don't want to edge this up or anything. I want to go with this, like the key thing that Teo said to me was he likes it really messy, really scruffy, really textured. I want to play on that as well. So two guard on, leave it down, makes it a two and a half. I'm gonna start at the back, okay? I'm gonna work just quite low. If you look at the length as well of Teo's neck, we need to rise, like we need to lift that up a little bit because it's making it look really long at the moment. I want to shorten that down a little bit. Okay, just balance it up a bit more. And like I said, I'm working up and off, scooping that off like so. And I'm doing it a little bit lower because I've also got to blend it in as well. Close guard now onto my two. There you go. Move it around here. Close guard, number two. So, one guard on, lever down. Just going to taper the side down a little bit. Like so. Touch higher, because I want to bring the neck up a little bit as well, just to balance it out a bit more. I don't want to try and encourage the, the neck to look longer. So we've got a big gap from where the hairline is. So that's just neck hair, okay? So I think we want to leave it to about here. I think that will create that nice arch into the back. So I'm going to put my zero in. Just put a zero line in just for symmetry. So we're taking it right up to there. Okay, I'm using this as a guide to start tapering into. Just use the minis just to get it perfect so I can see exactly where I'm going to. Put my number one guard back on. In between, closed and open, so halfway. We'll start using this, that's my, my, my neckline now. We'll start tapering into that. So as you see, the one and a half looked like we were really high before, but because we've brought the neckline up at the back, it doesn't look that high anymore. We're going to close guard. Into my 0.5 now. I'm just working to get that line out now. Looking through the lever. Now I'm going to start blending this number two in. I'm going to work up and off like this into the length. So I'm not going to take anything from off from there, okay? The teeth towards me. I'm going to comb my dash. So I'm layering the weight on top of it. What we get is what looks like a nice short taper, what we keep. Length so we can kill that. There we go. So you see that shape I'm creating now? Yeah. Look into the mirror, becomes slightly more rounded. So imagine when we start bringing all this in. It's gonna have a really nice taper in and that rounder shape to the top. There we go. And then again for me, buddy. Tidy up temple, keeping the curl in there though. A bit of a cleaner finish. Still have a messy haircut with the tidy edges. Still works really well.
So we're on the blend as well. The fallouts, naturally. We'll work horizontally through the top, so separating the back to the sides. I'm going to connect this down to the, that's just where the colour, some of the colour starts. I'll bring it down. That length. Bring the section back. Still we're keeping some length in there. I think it was about time. <laughs> Here we go, I'm keeping that. And then just off centre. And wait for the top. Now, same again. Bring these down the same length as before. The other side. And there'll still be quite a bit coming off here because there was a disconnection on this side. So much more is coming off here than there was on the other side. Lift it up, there's the length, there's the triangle. Straight across. You think it makes it easier or harder um, judging like the length because of the frosted bits on the no, end? No, not at all. No, far from it. If anything, it makes it easier because I know exactly how short you want to go on top. Mm. So yeah, probably easier to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just gives me an, indi an indication of how much you're looking to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, it's fine. It's not a problem at all. Yeah, as much sort of information as you can get. Obviously, I've got the style in mind, but then any, any information you can give me, um, you know, like you said, like the length and stuff, that's perfect. Mm. Well, that's a good length. Right, literally where the frosting is. Mm. Straight up. I'm just gonna match up the fringe to either side. Match it up. Okay. Right now through the back. Same kind of thing, just working from the crown. So I'm gonna cut this down to match. Like so. So spray a little bit of salt spray and just scrunch it how you want it to sit, okay? So like you said, when you get out of the shower, just scrunch it and leave it. Scrunch it like this, get the curls in there, like so. Really emphasizing that kind of slightly rounded shape in there. Dry it off in the shape. High, high heat and a medium speed. So, that's essentially what it'll look like in the morning, okay? So you have that lovely messy curl, and it just sits in a very nice shape to it as well. Do you want to put your mask down a little bit for me as well? Yeah, of course. So I think that looks wicked on your hair there. See the way it really angles into your jaw? Mm. Looks great. Down into it too as well. Um, would you like to see it bigger? Yeah, why not? Do you want to see more curl? Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to use a styling powder for this. Sprinkle it over the top. Into the scalp first and then into the head. And you get more volume, more curl. Never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? So it's just a bigger, bigger, bigger curl. 
which really I think shows off the shape of the haircut a lot more than as well. Which is the nice way, you know, it doesn't have to look the same when you're going out. You can make it look slightly different, which this is basically what it'll do. So the haircut's the same. It, this just brings that texture out and makes it bigger and curlier, which I think looks amazing, to be honest, mate. Can see the back? Yeah. So you've got that curl coming through into that number two. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So exactly you see the way? Wanted. Yeah, brilliant. So it's almost like a taper over two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still, you can still see you've got a number two on the back and sides. And all that loose curl through the top. Very nice. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, man. Brilliant. Appreciate it. You're very welcome.